Kimmy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today, we're making biscuits for beginners. Two ingredient biscuits, and boy, are they light and fluffy. Now it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today we're going to make biscuits. Two ingredients. This is the most simple way to make biscuits there is, period. No cutting in the shortening or butter. So we're going to get started. The two ingredients are heavy whipping cream. Why? Because it has more fat in it than regular whipping cream and self-rising flour. We're going to start off with self-rising flour because it has the baking powder and the salt in there already. And we're going to be using our White Lily self-rising flour. It's one of the best flours in the world to make biscuits with. Why? Because it's a white winter wheat. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this in my container here. We're going to be using two cups of this White Lily flour. There's your second cup. And we're going to add our whipping cream as needed. I don't really know for sure how much, so I'm gonna measure it for you guys so that you'll know. I'm gonna start out with a half cup. We'll see where we're at. That's a cup so far of heavy whipping cream. It's gonna take it all. So that's a cup and a half of whipping cream so far. That's gonna work. Two cups of self-rising flour in a cup and a half of whipping cream. It's gonna be perfect. You want your dough to be sticky. So that's the perfect amount there. Now, I'm actually gonna hand roll about half of these and then we're going to cut out the rest of them. Um, I wanted to do it both ways. All right, you need to grease your pan. Since I don't have my shortening out for regular biscuits, I'm just gonna spray it. And I'm just gonna pinch off a little bit of the dough and roll it in my hand. Now, um, you don't have to, of course, roll them. You can cut them out. You just use your thumb and press around the bottom and roll it in your hand at the same time to do it that way. I'm gonna do one more and then we're gonna cut out the rest of them. I just thought I'd roll a few for y'all. I don't really know how your mama made biscuits, but most people either roll them like this in their hand or they cut them out. That one's a little smaller, but that's all right. All right, we're going to go ahead and flour the counter a little bit. We're going to cut out a few. This is pretty stiff. This dough is. Um, so I don't think there's going to be any need to work it a lot. Try. All 
right, this is gonna be delicious. Such an easy way to make a biscuit. Two ingredient biscuits. Now, you don't have to be real talented to make a delicious biscuit if you make them like this. They're gonna be delicious and it's easy. Well, I guess I'll cut these out. At least one more out. I'll put this in here. This is my new biscuit pan. I'm excited about it. My granny always made her biscuits in this size pan. Of course, hers looked old as the hills, but it was like a brownie pan. Two cup biscuit recipe fits in it perfect. We're gonna get these in the oven and I think I'm gonna pat them on the top a little bit with this whipping cream. We're gonna get these in the oven and get them baked at 450 degrees. The great thing about these biscuits to ingredients is the fat is in the whipping cream and the flour is self-rising, so it has the baking powder and the salt in it already. Boy, you cut out a lot of steps when you make two ingredient biscuits. We're gonna get this in the oven and we're gonna bake them at 450 degrees for 20 minutes. We've got a minute left on the clock, but I think they're ready, so we're gonna take them out. They rose up nice and pretty. They have a speckly look on the top compared to the shortening biscuits. And we are going to open one up. You can see the rolled biscuits, of course, are larger. And then these are the ones that are cut out. Well, they look good and fluffy, don't they? We'll be honest with you, I've never had a biscuit made out of just whipping cream, but I've seen a lot of people do it. So I thought I would give it a try. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna put some butter on them and have a little syrup on one. They're real flaky though, which is a good thing, right? I just happen to have my favorite syrup. It is Golden Eagle table syrup. Now, of course, you can eat them with honey or jelly or preserves, sorghum, but I love my Golden Eagle table syrup. Comes out of Alabama. It's golden and buttery. Let me just test this. Mm. They're crumbly. They're so soft. They're very, it's a very soft crumb biscuit. It's really good. Now they're a little pastier, what I would call pastier, but want to stick to the roof of your mouth kind of uh, biscuit than a shortening biscuit. But by all means, they're absolutely delicious. You're gonna love them. If you're not um, experienced in cutting and shortening or butter into flour, this is a great alternative to make this two ingredient biscuit. Boy, is it delicious. Thanks so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Y'all come back and see us. Bye, I love ya.